This video is going to cover the installation of this red dot optic. I'll make this as brief as possible. It's really quick, so let's get into it. So what you do is you're going to take your firearm, make sure it's safe, unload it, everything is clear. All right, enough of that. I'm going to take and you're going to remove your optics plate. This is a T10 hardware, so just get you a T10 bit driver and you'll be off to the races. Take this plate off. It's full disclosure. This red dot optic has already been mounted to this firearm. Just want to show you guys what you would need to do if you wanted to mount your so. Here's the vortex. You remove the Picatinny hardware mounting here. Again, same T10 bit driver is being used. Just drop that off, drop your hardware out. Set the Picatinny mount to the side. Put the hardware to the side. Here's a look at the vortex off the Picatinny mount. So here's my hardware. You could also opt out uh, Vortex to give you this fancy schmancy little key. You could use this key, it's pretty awesome. You could use it for adjusting your windage and elevation and this is used for the battery door. So, But I just chose to use a nut driver for this installation. Get my hardware out. The awesome thing about this is Vortex to give you dual hardware or two sets of hardware just in case you strip one out or lose one so what you do is you take and sit your red dot optic on these bosses here just drop it on it's in place take your hardware drop it in place you want to start them these are going to be torqued these are going to be uh, torqued to 15 foot pounds, but before you introduce the torque wrench, you want to start both of these and take your time. Make sure you're not cross threading them or anything. Cross threading the screws. So you just drive them down. Once you get them snugged, then you bring the torque wrench in and finish the job off. So those are pretty snug. I'm going to bring in my Wheeler torque wrench already set to 15 inch pounds. Take and put it in place. It's torqued. You hear the infamous breaking of the torque wrench? It's torqued. And guys, that is it. That is how you mount your Vortex Defender on your firearm, just like that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like the channel because there will be more videos coming. That's gonna do it for this video. In closing, don't forget to thank your local law enforcement. Don't forget to thank your local first responders. And don't forget to thank your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. Mr. Vetter, out. Guys, freedom is not free. Remember that. It is not free.